Hey there, I'm Jody Seibert, business coach and consultant, here to talk to you about the bookkeeping tasks download that hopefully you've downloaded. If not, you can go to my website and sign up for my newsletter and get a copy. I wanted to show you how to take this list and add it to Asana, which is a project management slash to-do list manager, basically, and add it to your workflow instead of, I mean, yes, you could photocopy this and check it off every week or, or something like that, but I just wanted to show you how you could work this into your workflow a little bit. So what I did is I created just a test account in Asana. Asana is free. There is, you can see here's the upgrade button, but realistically the free version is very, very powerful and it's unlikely that you would need to upgrade to the paid version unless you have a larger, a fairly large team um, because the, the free version is really quite powerful. So when you sign up, this is kind of what you see. It's going to make you name your default workspace. And I just happen to call it bookkeeping tasks, but you can call it anything. And there's any number of what they call workspaces um, that you can create, um, which is sort of, I created a few for this demo, but it's certainly nothing that you have to use if you don't want to. So let's start by creating our bookkeeping tasks project. And you'll see there's two types of layouts, the list layout and a board layout. And the, the type you choose will sort of depend on how your brain is wired. Um, some of us are list people, others are a little more visual and want the whole, like almost like a whiteboard type of thing. I would encourage you to sort of create a couple test projects and toy with both layouts. I'll be showing you examples of both. I did the bookkeeping task list both ways that I'll show you here in a little bit. Just to see, there's no right or wrong way to set this up. Set it up that it matches the way you think and work. There, there's a lot of expert opinions out there, but the only one that matters is the one that will help you be productive and get stuff done. So I'm gonna just create it in the list view. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to start adding tasks. And the first thing on the list is invoice clients. And I'm gonna assign it to me. And it's a weekly task. Weekly, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do this on Fridays and you can do anything you want. I like to use tags because it's another way to help organize your tasks. And I, I kind of learned the hard way that when you are creating a new tag, if you click on new tag, it lets you kind of choose a cool color. I also sort of learned by setting up various projects that customizing this, upload your picture, even if you're the only one in here, customize it and make it look kind of cool. Like if I hover over my project over here, I can pick another cool color. So it, it helps make your, um, your workspace colorful, maybe inviting, um, maybe less generic kind of thing. Um, but that, that's sort of a, something I've, I've sort of learned the hard way is I jump in and start using software and it really is worth it to just go through all the account settings that are available and make it yours. Really just make it yours. Tag it. Weekly. I forgot to make this recurring. You can see on the recurring part, you can get totally crazy with this. But, you know, don't feel like you have to use every option out of the gate. Choose what makes sense to you and then add more features later. Because you can see there's tags, you can, you know, favorite something, this, there's subtasks, which I'll show you that here in a minute. 
You can add attachments if, say, you decide you're going to create projects for clients and you need to attach a file from, say, an email or a form or something like that. And then if that's not enough, there's more. Um, so, like, this is a premium thing, but, again, I typically don't use that. Um, what I'm going to do next is jump into a couple of my the other workspaces I created. And I'm going to take you over to where I set this. I took the full list and I set it up using the board. And the default view, it came up to under my tasks, which you can see is the list view. And you can see is part of the bookkeeping project where over here, you know, again, I clicked here and you know, I set my little highlight color and all that. But say I want to look at the board view. And what I did was when, when you choose board view, it's going to ask you to set up columns. So I set up columns for a weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annual, and I went through and added these same tasks. So if looking at this kind of makes your eyes glaze over, or if you kind of like the idea of you know going on the project and being able to see this full visual of seeing everything, you can you know look at a calendar view. Um, of everything, whether it's today or say, you know, look at August because I set a bunch of the tasks, you know, due in August. Um, go back to the board. There's conversations um, if you have team members that you invite, um, which you can invite collaborators um, to work on various projects with you, and it's project based. So you, you could have one workspace and invite them to individual projects if you'd like. Um, or the board view, or honestly, I usually hang out in my tasks because I'm a list person. And, you know, here's more options. I, since especially bookkeeping is very date oriented, I tend to sort things by due date. So that is what the board view looks like. Um, and if you're still not sure, you may want to set up a small project and, and sort of play with it and see if it works for you. But if you're just looking at this video and your eyes are glazing over saying, I that just so does not work for me, you can do the list view. And let's jump over into the list workspace that I set up. And I set up the bookkeeping tasks project. And you'll see I set up tags with different colors because I, I kind of, like I said, I kind of learned the hard way that to really color it up, make things stand out, um, even though it's just me in here, um, that it, it looks, it's personal because I made it my own. So say I just wanted to see my monthly tasks. I could click on the tag and all I'm gonna see is monthly. So if you have various projects set up in here, say you create you know, your different client projects and, and maybe even your social media calendar or whatever, and start using these monthly, quarterly, annual um, tags and maybe a few others um, that you could really organize your workflow and be able to see different views of what's due, basically. So let's go back to the main project because I typically have, you know, a bunch of projects and I, I've learned to have fewer projects but use more tags because it seems to work a little bit better. When there's an endless list, I actually at one point had a sort of an endless list of projects over here and it made my eyes glaze over. So I, I got more into, that's when I learned using the tags um, and the colors made it just, it, it sort of made more sense and wasn't overwhelming as the, the list of projects got just way too long. So another view of doing this, and you'll see I have this bookkeeping subtasks. When you create a task, there's this cool little button here called subtasks. So 
and, it, and again, it, it is, it's, you know, how your brain's wired. What I did, I took, I created one task called weekly bookkeeping tasks. And then within that, I took all the weekly tasks and I made them subtasks. Now, when I go to my tasks, you'll see that these subtasks don't have tags. You'll see that as part of the main task of weekly bookkeeping tasks, but that might work for you. You might say, you know what, that's cool, I like that, my brain likes that. Whatever makes sense to you and helps you be productive is the right way to do this. If you need help getting started, and sometimes this is a little hard to visualize, but if you're using a paper-based to-do list and you, you're sort of been struggling to try to get into these online task managers, I would really encourage you to try to get away from the paper um, because as your business grows, you can't collaborate on paper. And if you hire even a virtual assistant, it, how are you that lives you know 500 miles away from you? How are you going to collaborate? So it's it, you know, and, and of course everyone's planning on growing their business. So if you know, you're struggling to try to figure out how to go from paper into a tool. You know, if you're looking at Asana and saying, I totally hate that, I would suggest looking at Todoist, which is list-based, but it's a lot more bare bones. It's still a fairly powerful tool. Um, you don't get tags unless you pay the premium version, which honestly is $30 for the year, very affordable. Or if you really like the boards, you may look at Trello. I confess I haven't done much with Trello because I don't like the boards. I'm a list person, but that is just me. So it's, it's what, again, it's what works for you. The right answer is what works for you. If you're not sure what that is, I'd be happy to help you figure that out. But in the meantime, um, I, I hope this has helped you sort of see how you can build this bookkeeping tasks into your business workflow. I am Jody Seibert, business coach and consultant here to make your workflow so you can grow.